Assalamualaikum and welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Samir Javed and uh, welcome back to the Microsoft Project Tutorials. And uh, today uh, we'll be learning about how to export or share the details that we have uh, put in so much effort uh, in Microsoft Project. So uh, we have uh, created the tasks, we have uh, marked their completion statuses, we have defined the durations, we have updated the start dates, and we have done so much work. Now we want to share it with the stakeholders. Now the problem lies that stakeholders don't have Microsoft pro project uh, on their systems, at least most of them don't. Uh, so the uh, the big guys who are making the decisions they usually have either Microsoft Excel or micro uh, you know Acrobat Reader on their system. So uh, one way to do it is to you know export your project details in different formats, which is which can be done through uh, export feature and save as Excel workbook. Uh, and you click save as it will give you the option. Will but we'll go there some other time so let's see the other easier way i click save as i select the location where i want to save this file from save as type drop down i'll select excel workbook and click save immediately a wizard has opened in front of me now uh, what it wants is basically it's going to guide me how to export that data uh, into excel i click next and immediately i'm taking to the next page where it's asking me to either do i want to use the project excel template or do i want to uh you know export selected data so what's the difference between these two so project excel template basically has uh, some predefined fields uh, oops let me just go back uh, it has some predefined fields uh, which will be exported without uh, MS project asking me anything and I will open the Excel file and there are there will be a lot of data But I want to select, you know share selected data with my with my audience. So what I will do is I'll select the second option and uh, once we do that what will allow me it will allow me to filter out the data that I want to share Next is ask me uh, if I want uh, to create a new map and map is basically uh, the uh, format that I'll be using for exporting or I, I can use an existing one. Let's go with the new map. We'll create our own paths for this one. So uh, next it will ask is it'll ask me what I want to export. So I have tasks. These are the main things and I also want to export resources. I can do that. I can share assignment details as well. Usually uh, it's not very relevant for non-technical people to have, you know, know the resources and stuff like that. So tasks are the most basic thing. So I'll select task. Then the lower section is asking me about what I want to see in my Excel file. So first thing that I definitely want would be the headers. So I should know which column contains which information. Or um, and in case I'm including including assignments, I have to select the second one as well. However, uh, to keep your uh, export concise, it's better to select only the relevant information. Okay, moving on to our next uh, our next screen. It's asking me to name that worksheet uh, that uh, that I'll be uh, using. I've already saved the file name. So now I'm going to name the worksheet where this data will be exported. So I save, name it as MS export sheet. Very, very creative. Uh, then I go to the next option. Over here you are, you are giving, uh, you are given a uh, you know a summary of filters or um, I was a scurry of filters which you can apply for filtering out the data that you want to export active tasks you have all tasks you have completed milestones you can the, the list is quite long so what will happen is uh, whichever uh, item you select 
uh, Microsoft project will export those details based on the criteria that you have provided and you can export that information. You can export completed milestones only. So it will only filter out the completed milestones in the project plan and export them into an Excel file with all the relevant columns that you will select that we'll see uh, just a few seconds later. So uh, you can have completed tasks, you can have, uh, you can filter the task based on your cost effective. So in, if, if some of the tasks are costing you more than uh, they should, you, you filter them out, you export them in Excel and you show it to the people who are responsible for it. So uh, that's an interesting feature as well. You can select cost over budget task. You can uh, task, you can filter out tasks that are created after a certain date. You can select critical tasks. You can you give a date range. Uh, you give it, you know, 10 days of date range and it will only filter out those tasks. So you can filter summary tasks as well. So there's a lot of things that we'll cover um, in our future videos as well. So let's go on with the simple one. I'll export all the tasks in my project plan. So that out of the way, now I'll select what information from the project plan I want to show. So first things first, let me select the ID. That's the task ID, so it's easier to correlate between the file and the project plan. Next, I select the completion status. Now you can select uh, any way you like. This is the usual way that's uh, more presentable and easier to comprehend for, uh, for, crit uh, for technical and non-technical people. So name is basically the task name. Over here, you can see this column is showing you the Excel column name that will be displayed in the Excel file. I select the duration and uh, the start date of my task and the finish date of my task. Then we have, uh, oh yeah, we also have baseline the project. So it's a good idea to export the baseline details as well. So everyone knows what were uh, the initial timelines that were decided during baselining. Uh, so first things first, baseline duration. Uh, oh, oh my bad. I think I selected baseline one. Uh, our project is only baseline once. So it will be baseline duration, the start date and the finish date. So you have the baseline and actual timeline defined. And one interesting uh, parameter is the duration variance. This will show the differences between baseline duration and the actual durations. So let's move forward. Now it will ask me to save the map if I want to. So uh, if I want to reuse this same, um, you know, export type so I can rename it and uh, next time it will ask, I'll simply select the use existing and do it. So I, after finishing it off, let us open up the file. So it's uh, exported in a very raw format. So you have to uh, do a bit of work with it. First, expand it so you can see it. Over here, you can see the variance, durations. Let me just, uh, format it a bit so it's easier for you to comprehend percentage completed is uh, exported in a in a numerical way so let's uh, format it for our convenience select this you can see this mark over here and convert it to number and then convert it to percentage there now you can uh, easily see how what's the percentage of the tasks that have been completed. You can see the duration and uh, and uh, you can see the percentages. You can see the names, start dates, finish dates. So this is how basically your 
data has been exported from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel. So you can see that uh, the baseline durations are also there. You can see the variance over here. You can apply formulas. We'll cover our uh, Microsoft Project, D, uh, sorry, Microsoft Excel ways of doing things in our videos. I'll share the disc, uh, the video dis in the description so you can uh, refer to that. You can see over here that uh, the tasks that don't have any uh, difference in durations are marked with zero days so it's good to know that some tasks have been completed on time you save the file after formatting and uh, you can see the sheet name is defined as well let me show you another another easier way of saving the information you select the items that you want to export but this way, uh, this is another way, but it has its, uh, you know, there are some pros and cons. In the first uh, type, I just copy this and I select the cell in Excel and simply paste the information. There you go. So by doing so, it will require minimal formatting. However, it doesn't filter out the information the way you want it in, uh, for example, some cases. So it will exactly, uh, f uh, you know, copy anything that's over here and it will paste it over there. So it's a simple copy paste item. However, in the first way uh, that we showed, that was for, uh, you know, fil filtering uh, data based on a certain criteria. So it, uh, although we selected all tasks, so it will seem the same. However, if I want to only filter out the critical task or I want to filter out a certain date range, that I can only do in export. So there are two ways of doing things. So since Microsoft products have a lot of vastness in their uh, functionalities, so you can use them for different ways and you know do the same thing in different ways. So that's, uh, that's all for today. Uh, we covered how to export our project details into uh, an Excel uh, for our convenience to share with uh, with our stakeholders and share it with the you know the people who don't have Microsoft Project on their systems. So that way it will help in uh, allowing you to also we also learn that uh, we can filter out data based on a certain criteria we can also uh, you know export it in excel and do the formatting as per our need you can also apply a follow-up you know uh, charts on excel based on whatever data you exported so until our next video take care and allah office